What's up everyone and welcome back to Dual Mod Survival. I'm here with B. Hello. And last episode we did some things. Did some things. Which I mean we collected ourselves a bunch of fuel. Mm -hmm. Started filling up the last tank with more life essence because why not? <laughs> we have four of them so we might as well use it. So our refineries are still going over here. Our one no, refinery plus. All the ones are producing a lot of fuel and they're actually using quite a bit of energy. But that's okay, we'll deal with it later. Because we still have uh, with, uh, nether star power to get us through. But anyways, so we have a bunch of fuel. And now it is time to use it. So I've been saying we we're going to get into a new mod, and that's exactly what we're going to do. First of all, I want to set something up real fast. So we can access this fuel. So I just want to dig down here. Get to this valve and set up a tank, so. Put that piece of cobblestone back. So, we're gonna put down a tank, and this one's just gonna be yellow in the middle. So white, yellow, white. And if we put ourselves a fluid duct here, that should start filling up with fuel. Perfect. Let's just clean this up. <coughs> okay, so now, we have a t ender tank that's going to have fuel on the output side. So now what we can do is head back up here, make another tank, boom, that has our fuel. Perfect. Okay. So now we have access to our fuel. Now what we're going to use it for is for some of this. So this is about as far as we've gone into industrial craft. Yeah, no, not very far. We have a generator and an extractor. So we want to upgrade this generator. So. What you can do with it, if I look, the generator, if I can find the right, one, right page, a generator can be used, hopefully I can find it, you're used to make a, you know, a couple different generations, but the next tier would be like a geothermal generator, which uses lava, as you would guess. And a geothermal generator can then be upgraded to make a semi-fluid generator, which is what we're going to use. So a semi-fluid generator can use fuel and produce EU. So EU is the power system in industrial craft, kind of similar to RF, it's its own thing. Uh, it mostly only works for industrial craft stuff, I believe it can work with mine factory loaded blocks and I believe build craft. So there is has some compatibility, but you know, it's universal or RS becoming the more universal kind of power so anyway so in order to pick up industrial craft machines we're gonna need a wrench so an industrial craft wrench is just bronze so hopefully we can make that pretty easily wrench go we need more bronze of course <laughs> go it should take just a second so the only so the bad side or the downside to the wrench is that it's not a hundred percent chance that it doesn't even break it. It's like if I was to just take a pickaxe to this and destroy one of these blocks, it would break it. And it would return a basic machine casing. Oop, if I could type. Basic machine casing, which is just iron, pretty much. So we wanna you know, attempt our luck here. Uh see so yeah. Oh no, we got it. Alright, so we got that one. Um, we'll leave that for now because we're going to use it and we got the charcoal out of it so now we want to throw that in and we're probably just going to teach our system how to make all this stuff so if we make semi-fluid generator teach that and code our item casing I don't believe it knows how to do that and code that then universal cell which is 10 item casings which it should know how to do Geothermal generator, it's that right there. Um, did I do empty cell? No. Okay, so we don't know how to make empty cells yet. So that might be a problem. So we're going to need an extractor. Or an extruder. Or a metal former, I guess. Okay. Yeah, so we're going to want a metal former. That's fine. We can get one of those real fast. But we're also going to want to teach us how to make the generator, which is iron furnace. Hopefully I can get this to be three of the plates I want. Not those ones. Those one. There we go. Caught it. Uh, so one, one good trick here 
is to always use a crafted battery for the recipes because it doesn't treat it the same way and it won't work like it won't tell itself to craft one it's it's weird so I mean get just get rid of it place another one in there we go so that's all you need for that Can I get an iron plate anyways make iron furnace I believe the system allows to make furnace don't quote me on that though Okay, it does. Alright, so now we can toss all these into the system here. Boom. Okay, so now probably have to put the generator back down, unfortunately. That's okay, though. So generator, some charcoal. And we're going to want to make ourselves a metal former. So metal former. Shouldn't be too difficult. So electronic circuits, this is a very important thing to teach this thing to make because it's it's a pain to make these. And you're gonna need a ton of them. So we just need to teach how to make this. And code. Insulated copper wire. Is that do we want to make copper plates? Nope. There was a better way to do this eventually. What using the metal former itself, so we may, we may upgrade to that just because it, we will fly through a lot of copper. I mean, <laughs> when I say a lot, I mean a lot with these circuits. So, we need to. Oh, didn't finish making the metal former. Alright, so we taught it that. I think it might not make the basic machine casing. Teach it that. Does that. I'm sure it doesn't know how to do this. Code, bronze plate, Tinker's Alloy, Tinker's Alloy, come on, there it is, okay. So I'm just going to teach it how to make everything here, because Industrial Craft has so many craftings that you need to do, and it's just, it's just a ton better if you can just teach your system how to make all of it. So that should be everything there. So now if we request a metal former, died. Teach it everything but the metal former? I think so. The struggle. Okay. Now, metal former. Begin. So we can watch. Okay, so it didn't know how to make basic machine casing. It's fine, we can do that. And there you go. Now it should know. Just cooking up some bronze. And it's done. Okay, so now we got ourselves the metal former. So now metal former yeah, it has quite a few things it can do. Uh, let's put these back down. Start making power. And now we are going to want to get ourselves the empty cells. Empty cells were tin plates in the extruding mode. So extruding mode is probably the most common that you'll use. So extruding, you can look at the recipes in here. So here's the extruding. You know, like as I was saying, you can make the uninsulated wiring here. So like copper, like you get, you'll get three of them per ingot here. You get two of them if you cut it into a plate and then snip it with the wire cutters. So definitely more efficient to do it this way. Yeah. So we'll probably set that up eventually. Now we need tin plates. I think it was only two actually. Well, actually, I think I'm gonna want three of these generators. All right, and it will take a little bit of time. They're not the fastest, but they do have upgrades, which we will look into here quite soon. So, oh, those get three of them. Okay. <laughs> Don't need that many then. Alright, there we go. So now if we throw these on in, 
Should be able to request semi fluid generators. Three of them, please go. Oh, looks like it's going. Hey, look, it's using the right battery, so that's, that's a positive. Um, hey, how about that? So now we got three semi fluid generators. Perfect. So now, if you think back to thermal expansion, you have your power creation and then you have your storage. These are our storage for thermal expansion. So energy cells, the you know <coughs> the EU version of them. There's quite a few of them. So there's different tiers. The the initial tier is a bat box, which I think we'll make right now. It's not that difficult. Some wood. Do that. So that's what we'll make for now. We can obviously upgrade it if we want to. Bat box. I'll remember to always use a, a pre-made battery. And use the kind of wood that you want. And code. It probably doesn't know how to make this. Code that. Uh, doesn't know how to make tin cable. Oh, it already does. Okay. So you can just shift right click to clear that. I'll throw that back in. So now we should be able to request a bat, bat box. Go. Watching it and. Looks good. Alright. It's a bat box. Okay. So now, to look at thermal expansion again. We're going to need some of these, some of the transmission. So we need a way to transmit the power from block to block. <laughs> Obviously, you can use this because the generator will transfer straight to the blocks touching it, which we did. But we want, obviously, a better way to do it. So we're going to want to get ourselves some cabling. So some cables, a tier, as always. Uh, copper's pretty good. I think tin, or if I can find tin. Tin cabling. 32 EU per tick, so it's not the best. I think we might just go with some copper for now. Gold's a little bit better. And there's like HV and glass fiber, which is ridiculous. So I think we'll go with some copper cabling for now. So let's just get a little bit of this. As you can see, this uses quite a bit of rubber, so we will be handling that situation as, as well as soon as we get the chance. So now, we should be pretty set to go. So I'm going to got to remember which way this bat box goes. You should you can rotate it though. I can't remember which side is which. Hmm. So I think I think that's the output, but I can't remember where the input is. One sec. Don't think it's underneath. I will try it. We'll just see, we'll see how it goes. So I pretty much want it to be I want to face it this way. Oops. It's okay. All right. So I want to face it that way so then I can have uh wiring running along the back here into all, every machine. So that's the plan. Now I'm hoping, hoping this works this way. So I'm going to run the wiring there. I'm going to place these generators on top of it. As so. All right, and then I'm going to need some flue ducts. Because we need to get the fuel into these. Plenty. Let's just clear away some wall real fast. So we have room to work. Do that. And then if we get our ender tank. Come here, you. Put the ender tank up here. And then we say export. Boom. So now all these should be should be. Maybe. 
filling up the fuel, so that's good. <laughs> okay, yeah, okay, they are. So they're producing a lot of EU right now. And they've already filled up the bat box. So that was actually really fast. Now they're filling up their own internal buffers. So this is transmitting to here, and then it's outputting to here. So this is pretty much acting as the energy cell of, you know, of industrial craft, which is good. So we're making energy and we're storing it. Now it's time to make machines to use it. I should actually pick you up again. It's fine. We'll always need more generators. All right. So obviously another an easy way to do this is to use your gravity gun. So these don't break. There's a little bit of bug though, so like it won't look normal. But I think once you relog or you restart the server, it fixes it. Something like that. I don't know. We'll see. All right. So these should now be filling up with power from that box. Obviously going into it. And yeah. So there's a few more machines we're gonna want just to get the basic basic ones down. We're going to want to get ourselves a macerator. It just teaches us how to make all the things. So a macerator, it's pretty easy to make. Throw that one in. Request it. Boom. And done. So macerator is similar to the pulverizer. So it will crush up materials. Probably should put it right there. It's whatever. I'm just going to pick them up just because it's bugging me. So put the macerator down. You see it's starting to fill up with power. And these start to produce more. And then we're going to want a few other things. Another basic machine you want is the compressor. Right here. Once again, not too difficult to make. Go ahead and craft that up. There we go. Compressor pretty much is the opposite of the macerator. So it has a few recipes where it uh, combines items back together. So like a brick you could compress into four bricks, or you can compress them, or you can pulverize into four bricks, or you can compress them into a brick block. There's a few other recipes here that you can use it for. One important one is the advanced alloy, which we'll be using to make some more advanced machines here relatively soon. And then, like, energy crystals we'll need. So, yeah, there's a lot, quite a few cool things you can make with these. Let me just place down the rest of these machines as well. There we go. So, we have a good line of machines. So, I'm going to come back here in just a moment. And we're going to see if we're going to be ready to start automating some of the production of some things that you can do in industrial craft. So, we'll be back here in just a moment. All right, so we don't have time to set up all the automation for all this yet, but there's actually like one more machine I want to make. It's a canning machine, not this one. There's actually two canning machines, which is kind of weird, but it is what it is. If I could find it. Right there, this canning machine. So code that. That's That'll do it for pretty much the low tier industrial craft machines. So craft one of those. There is the electric furnace, which is a furnace that runs on power. So pretty much your redstone furnace but I don't think it's really necessary to have. There's a better one that we will be getting to probably next episode. So, boom, it's the canning machine. There's a few things you can do with this. There's one thing in particular that we will be doing, but I'll touch on that when we get there. For now, I wanna talk about the energy for industrial craft. So, Whale is very good at this and it's very helpful. So, as I showed whenever I made the copper cabling, they can transmit, I think it was 132. No, 120, I'm sorry, 128 EU per tick. So these produce 32 EU per tick, so that's 96. So this can handle it. And then this bat box can, you know, input that amount. I don't think there's a cap on the input, but it will only output 32 EU per tick. So that's across all these machines. So this one's using two, as you can see at the power. This one's using two, this one's using two, this one's using 10, this one's using four. So if all these machines were running all at once, that'd be 14 plus 6, that's 20 EU per tick. So even if all these were running, the bat box would be able to keep up. However, there are some upgrades that will let that will allow us to 
increase the power output, power usage, but increase the speed, which we'll definitely be getting to. Um, another thing with these is you can see the max power that they have. So if you were to give one of these machines more than 32 EU per tick, it's like if, uh, if we increase the power that we're using in it with like a speed upgrade, but we didn't increase its max power capabilities, it would get too much power into it at once and it would blow up just straight up or like if you had a the upgraded ver version of the bat box there's a couple of them the CESU is the 128 EU per tick then there's the if I can find it the MFE right here the MFE 512 and then there's MFSU which is 2048 so they upgrade quite a bit if you were to send a, like anything high, like I said, anything higher than 32 to one of these machines, it would blow up. So that's why we have a bat box for now. We will upgrade it once we get some uh, transform uh, transform transformer upgrades. That's what they're called, and that will increase the maximum power that it can withstand. So that's what we're getting. That's what we're working towards. Um, and then we're also going to want to start using these machines in order to create some of the better machines in industrial craft. So one main one being the induction furnace this thing is the bomb just saying so we'll probably be checking that out, checking that out next episode but that'll do it for this one so thank you guys so much for watching hope you enjoyed we're getting our feet wet into industrial craft definitely more coming next episode so until then we will see you guys next time see you, see you.